We play a little game of if you only knew. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Oh, I would kind of love to live in Italy, I think. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, with our worst places. <laughs> What's the weirdest job you ever had? Um, it was actually my first job. I worked at a Bikram yoga studio, and my job was to take the dripping wet of sweat towels and put them in the washing machine. And I did it for free classes. I didn't even get paid. <laughs> So nice. <laughs> biggest risk you ever took? Gosh, biggest risk. Um, you know, I'd say maybe professionally, um, going back to the hills because at the time I was very adamant about not doing reality TV, which is funny now, here I am on my third show. But I was acting for a while and I really wanted to be taken seriously as an actress. So I remember that was, that was a tough decision for me. Who would you trade places with for a day? I, I would go back to like Bridget Bardot, like in the 60s. <laughs> she was beautiful. She was. <laughs> Something you wish you were better at. I wish I had some sort of hidden talent. Like when everyone's like, oh, you know, what's your hidden talent? I have nothing. <laughs> so it'd be nice to have some you sort you of. You don't sing. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Best advice you ever got. Man, that's a broad question for anything. Best advice I've ever gotten. You know, I'd say it's from my dad, and it's just do the best that you can do. That's all you can ask for. <laughs> all you can do is all you can do. Exactly. What's the worst piece of advice you ever got? That being a mom is easy. <laughs> <laughs> childhood celebrity crush. I really liked Devin Sawa from Casper. <laughs> <laughs> I had his poster on my wall, you know. Three things you'd bring with you to a desert island. Music, um, a journal, something to write with, and a camera. What keeps you up at night? What keeps me up at night? Um, uh, you know, a lot of uncommon James stuff. Just running a company can be stressful at times, and I, I'll, like, in the middle of the night, like, random thoughts will just come in my head about something that I need to do or follow up on. You know, it's like, I just need to shut it off sometimes. Is it hard? It's, it's a lot, yeah, it is. I mean, it's really fun, and I'm extremely passionate about it, and I love that I own my own company. I, you know, it's the thing that I'm most pro pro professionally proud of. But yes, it can be stressful, no doubt about it. Does your husband get involved? I ask him his opinion sometimes. Yeah, and obviously he's my go-to guy about, you know, if I need to vent about something or, you know, he's, he's always there for me, yeah. What's the last time you were starstruck? Um, I remember meeting George Clooney a few years ago, and it's the only time, truly, that words did not come out of my mouth. I was like, hi, I'm Kristen, and then, like, nothing else. He's a good guy. He was nice, but, yeah, I brought nothing to the table. He's, he's a regular guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He seems like it. What's something you're afraid of? Something I'm afraid of? Uh, um, re regret, looking back and regretting something. So I try to to never put myself in that position. I try to always go after what I want. <laughs> never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.